Disclaimer this video is for educational and historical purposes only. Sun and boy SGRCH Talaus? Seedon's son was struggling to breed GRCH Gritler to Molly B, 1XW, 1XLGIS, so he asked me to come and help. I arrived, and we tried but Gritler was not interested and Molly was nearly over. In my attempts Gritler nearly took of my face as he got really frustrated and aggressive but we succeeded after all. We were not expecting a big litter for Molly was old, and we only got one stuck. There were six pups in total. Klein Molly died very young with a full belly of pups by Jasper a son of Lucane that was imported by Brainy Smurf. Then there was Jade, a 1XW, 1XGL, she lost to GRCH Gypsy. She produced two ROM dogs, and two two-time winners, and still has a big role in producing excellent stock. There was also Piper, a very big female that Megabyte took over, and used for breeding. The famous CH Countdown a seven-time winner that lost one game to CHX, was also part of the litter. Let's not forget the dead game two-time winner Gator, one of the gamest dogs I've ever seen till this day. And last but not least Talaus, the gentle giant, was also part of the litter? Let us not forget the Dia D game two Timmy winner Gator, one of the gamest dogs I've ever seen till this day. And last but not least Talaus, the gentle giant. They were born in the very early hours? Talaus was the first born and my pick of the litter. I wanted to crop his ears, Seedon's son told me if you crop his ears you take him, you can't change your mind, I said sure. But then the unthinkable happened, the very last pup that came out, later known as, was the one I wanted? I fell in love and begged for him but Seedon's son did not budge. Talaus was a very soft-natured dog, good with other dogs, love puppies. While he was standing at Savutas they went on a hunting trip, and when they came back they found Toulouse sitting in front of the back door waiting for them, with 25 pit bulls chained on the yard. He didn't care about any of them, clearly showing his intelligence again. At the same time my baby was born, and it turned out that Talaus is very good with kids also. I really believe he could have become a double grand champion if given the chance. Talaus was 16 months old when we first tried to roll him against his sire Gritler. Well he wanted nothing of it. He just screamed and showed wed no interest, so I left him alone for three months and then tried again. He was a complete different dog now. He showed high ability, great strength and intelligence. A true yellow dog. For that three months we would climb steep cliffs and reach waterfalls where I'd dive down into the water leaving him high up. Acting like I was drowning then he would also jump in to come and save me. I loved my boy. We rolled Talaus one more time, and we decided to take him out. A call came from K-Club who had a one-time winner monster at 57.3 pounds. He ended his opponent's career in a very short time. Everybody was running from Dempsey. They asked if we were up for it. We sure did. We agreed and the date was set. On arrival Dempsey saw the pit from the back of the trailer, and started shaking the trailer as if they had a mad bull inside. We all stood there still and looked worried. Sunny Boys Talaus K Clubs Dempsey 1XW and 1XGLM 58.5. The match was agreed between handlers to start at 1900 hours, but K Club arrived late and the match only started at 2000 hours. Dogs were weighed. Talaus coming in at 56.2 pounds, and Dempsey at 59.9 pounds. Seed and Sun took the forfeit and the match was on. Both dogs started fast with Dempsey driving hard and Talaus on defense. The match stayed the same for the first 20 minutes with Talaus defending and Dempsey dishing out the pressure. 20 minutes into the match a bleeder was hit on Dempsey's shoulder and the match started to turn in Talaus's favor. At 26 minutes a turn was called on Dempsey but the referee did not agree. At 30 minutes another turn was called on Dempsey and referee acknowledged. At 35 minutes Dempsey is running very hot and Talaus is dominating, and seemed to have taken out Dempsey's left front shoulder. At 40 minutes Talaus is working a down Dempsey very hard, and K-Club can see that Dempsey won't get back into the match. At 43 minutes the ref calls on to K-Club to pick up their dog. K-Club agreed, and asked Seedonson for a courtesy scratch which Seedonson agreed to, making Talaus a one-time winner in 43 minutes. Dempsey made a stumbling courtesy scratch with great effort while Talaus was screaming from his corner to still get a piece of Dempsey. 
Toulouse went like a bullet on his courtesy scratch. Talaus was conditioned and handled by Sedensen. Dempsey was conditioned and handled by K-Club. Sedensen's Talaus Demon Kennels Bruno MCW. The match was agreed between handlers to start at 20 hundred hours, and so it did. Dogs were washed, and the ref called for dogs to be released. Dogs met in the middle. Fifteen minutes into the match turn was called on Bruno, who was struggling to breathe. Talaus did not seem to be interested in fighting at all, writing Bruno's ear, looking for no other means to fight. Twenty minutes into the match the first. Handle took place. Bruno to scratch, and so he did. At thirty minutes into the match, Bruno took control, and another handle took place. Sedenson struggled to keep Talaus in his corner. Toulouse scratched. At around 40 Bruno got hold of Talaus's jaw. Toulouse still not interested in fighting, and starts screaming. Sedenson is a bit concerned? At 45 minutes, another handle took place. Bruno to scratch. When the ref called Bruno to scratch Sedenson released Talaus that came flying out of his corner. Bruno was now totally in control of the match. At 52 to loose. Started licking Bruno, who got hold of Talaus's penis. Toulouse started screaming? This is probably what Talaus needed to take some action. After three more scratches at 104 Demon Kennels conceded the match. Sonna Boy and Seedon Son were shocked by this. Bruno was doing well at the stage, but his owner probably knew better. Talaus is now a two-time winner, conditioned, and handled by Seedon Son. Bruno was conditioned by Demon Kennels, and handled by Big Man. After the news spread about Toulouse we struggled to get some action. Nobody wanted to go into Toulouse after his second, so we sent him to Megabyte. Talao stayed there with his brother, Countdown, who was already hard at work for his championship match, which was set up shortly after his second. Well Talaus was not hooked up yet. Three weeks before Countdown's match, Megabyte finally found an opponent for Talaus at but only to go on the same night as Countdown at 54 pounds, 3.3 pounds under Talaus's lowest weight. The match was set to go. Before going into details let's just to have a quick look at what disadvantage Talaus is going in at. Comma, he traveled from one county to another, 1056 miles. Comma, his lowest weight is 56.2 pounds, and he is going at 54 pounds. Now. Comma, on match night the competition weighed in at 56.2 pounds being 2.2 pounds over the agreed weight. But, guess what? Sonny Boys' Talao Sandman's Max M54. Dogs were weighed. Max is 2.2 pounds over the weight. Megabyte took the forfeit and agreed to go on with the show. The dogs were washed and taken in their corners. The ref called for handlers to release their dogs. Toulouse took control from the word go, riding Max's ear and working the front shoulders. At 34 minutes Max got hold of Talaus's leg, and he started to scream again just what Talaus needed. Within the next 10 minutes Toulouse destroyed his opponent's front shoulders. Max took too much damage. It cost him his life later on that night. Sandman conceded at 55 minutes. Max did not make a courtesy. Talaus however tested his handler's strength for he was screaming, and fighting to get some more of Max. You would swear he only just started. Sadly, but gladly, Talaus won his championship title in 55 minutes only to lose a very worthy opponent. R.I.P. Max Countdown also became champion a day after. Talaus's next match was set up the same night, this time against Max's big brother Deacon. Son of Boys Champion Talaus Sandman's Deacon M58.5 Champion Talaus weighed in at 58.5 pounds and Deacon at 59.5 pounds. Toulouse is going uphill again. Megabyte took the forfeit again. Dogs were washed and taken to their corners. Dogs met in middle. When Talaus got handled Megabyte struggled to hold him in his corner. He screamed to get more of his opponent. The first handle was at 25 minions. After three scratches each deacon stood the line and was counted out at 104. It was a relatively long match but a well-deserved win. Talaus is now a four-time winner. Talaus's next match was on home ground at 25.5 kilograms into Mad Max and his cocaine dog.
Sonneboy CH Talaus Mad Max's Cocaine M57.3 Talaus at 56.8 pounds, and cocaine at 54 pounds. Cocaine was a late replacement for Rascal who died 3 before the show. Mad Max had little time to get to know cocaine, and do some work. Dogs were washed and the ref called handlers to release. Both dogs came out strong. Talaus took hold of cocaine's ear? Cocaine broke trough Talaus's defense, and punished his stifle, what more to say but deja vu. Toulouse did it again. Not interested to fight at all. Only controlling, not fighting. Cocaine on the other hand gave it all, even lost the canine in the process. Great dog fought game to the end, outclassing all those who went against Talaus, except Bruno. Cocaine had no conditioning, was rolled four week prior for 130, and with a new owner still did better against Toulouse than those that were conditioned, and over the agreed weight. I must say, go cocaine, what a great dog. Finally Mad Max decided to pick up cocaine, who finished off with a game courtesy scratch. Grand Champion Talaus vs Bullet M57.3 It was soaking wet because of the rain? Bullet took hold of Talaus's chest and work it hard. Toulouse screamed and tried his best to counter the attack, without luck. Bullet took control, and stayed in control for the next 30 minutes when a turn was called on Bullet. At the 45-minute mark the first handle took place. The fight went on. After two scratches each, Talaus fetched Bullet in his own corner. At 1 o'clock Bullet is down and out, Talaus is completely in control, working hard on Bullet's chest and shoulders for the next 40 minutes. Bullet starts to scream, trying to jump the pit, but Talaus holds on. Bullet to scratch but decides to stay in his corner and look for place to jump the wall. Talaus is a six-time winner now one hour and 50 minutes. In Talaus's whole career he was only bitten three times. He was a high-ability dog who could outclass any opponent by sitting on the side of the face, just giving enough to frustrate and tire his opponent and, as soon as they go down he finches them. Talush is the product of a long line of great producers and grand champions. His sire is grand champion Gritler, R.O.M., and his grand sire is grand champion Sir Thomas, a seven-time winner whose grand sire is grand champion Yellow, R.O.M. Some say grand champion Anderson the Spider Silva came. Close but I have never seen something like him. It's a shame that he died of a bad case of parvo infection after his last.